What's up, YouTube? It's Carolina Calvin. And I wanted to go ahead and do these videos because um, E3 starts Sunday. Um, actually, this Sunday with uh, Bethesda. And I wanted to talk about uh, you know the different um, conferences. I'm going to start with Microsoft in this video. I'll do the... Um, before I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have them all done Sunday. Um, actually, I'm I'm going to bunch EA, Ubisoft, and Bethesda together. I may do um, Square Enix, maybe. I don't know, but um, I plan on. I'm not gonna do the PC one, but I'm I will do the other ones. Like I said, maybe Square Enix, definitely EA, definitely Ubisoft and Bethesda. Um, I pretty much this whole video. You know, these videos are gonna be about what I expect to be there and I, I guess a few games that I want to be there you know games that could possibly possibly be revived now that you know the likelihood of, of some of those games actually being um done a lot of a lot of um, old games um sequels that we wanted for a long time or whatever but I'm gonna quickly get into it I'm gonna be really quick I actually wrote down some of the games I want so I can have um so I won't just go straight off the top of my head um, the Gears of War, as you well know, um, there's a Gears of War, War one remake. Um, there was rumors there was supposed to be a collection. I would rather it be a collection. Um, you know, similar to how Master Chief Collection is going, and hopefully they don't botch it like that. But I would definitely would like to see that. And also, um, a new Gears of War, similar to you know, Master Chief Collection had. Well, if you had um, if you own Master Chief Collection, you got into the Halo Five beta. Nah, and I think they should do something, you know, if they're going to release the older games, I think they should do something similar like that with, um, you know, the Gears of War franchise. Because it, I think, it, um, although, what can you do after three? Pretty sure they can think of something. But I would definitely like to see one um, next gen. It's already been uh, talked about. Next we have, now this is one, unlike the Gears of War, um, you know, you're going to see something about Gears of War, possibly. And there's a very high likelihood you're gonna see something about Gears of War. This one you probably won't. And um, that's Conquer, which uh, if you remember on um, N64, if you're a little, little bit older, it was also on Xbox. Didn't really care about that one, but it's a game owned by Microsoft. Um, it, it's a rare um, IP which is owned by Microsoft, and they've teased them in stuff like Project Spark and you know mainly Project Spark. And they've talked about them. I want to see a game and. The game may look kitty, but it's not. It's it, it's more. I mean, you got cussing in it. You got uh, some pretty nasty, some pretty nasty shit in the game. So, <laughs> um, I think it's a game that they should definitely come out with, um, next gen. It will give them a title similar to like how um, Sunset Overdrive, but it, it will give them a title because you know Sony has the you know they got Ratchet and Clank. They got a uh, Sly Cooper. They they got um, hopefully Jack and Dexter. But they they have those games. And you know Nintendo has with Mario and Donkey Kong and all that. I think Microsoft needs to put out a game like that. You know, a game that could. Like I said, but it, it it's so weird with that game. But something with more of a cartoony style, I guess. I think they should bring out something like that. That's why I mentioned Sunset Overdrive. Uh, next we have Scalebound. Those were, um. I think it was made by Platinum Games. Same people made Bayonetta, Bayonetta one and two. They haven't seen much on it. No gameplay. So hopefully we see some gameplay this E three. Slightly interested, but can't be too overly interested interested in the game because I haven't seen any gameplay. Don't give a damn about CD trailers. Uh, I want to see actual gameplay. Um, next we have Phantom Dust. I actually went back and looked at gameplay for it on Xbox. It looked pretty cool. Um, it's like a versus. Um, Sort of Dragon Ball Z style um, fighting, and I, you know, I thought it could work really well, you know, with next, you know, this current gen of technology, and you know, seeing how I play. I've never played the game, but I, you know, it's something that looked interesting to me, um, per se. It, as a as a matter of fact, um, they they said they were gonna um, talk about it. Hopefully we get some gameplay. Um, you know what they showed last year was a very brief trailer, which wasn't much to go off of. But you can go off um, seeing the prequel, and hopefully the sequel will play like that. Uh, Quantum Break will not be at E3. I had that written down, but it will not be at E3. I'm, 
all they have to do, all they have to do is say when the hell the game co- comes out. You know, it's the next this twenty sixteen release. They pushed it back from this year, which I kind of saw happening, I guess. But it's something they they push back to next year. So I want to I want to date when next year. Um, Fable Legends is supposed to have a beta. Um, we've seen some gameplay of that. Turned off by Fable Fable Three, so hopefully this could uh you know actually be good. But we have to wait and see. Um, when does that beta come out? Maybe they'll talk about it at E3. Uh, Crackdown Three. Um, you know if you played one, which is on 360, nobody gave a damn. No, nobody actually gave a damn about the game. Most people got it to get that Halo Three beta because you know if you um, had the game, you could play. You had pretty much free access to the Halo Three beta. And I think it was um, one of those games where it kind of was swept under the rug. It was actually decent. It was uh, free roam. You, know, you had essentially, essentially a super soldier. So it was actually pretty fun. Um, two was essentially much of, more of the same. And I think um, people really didn't give a damn about it. I think it has potential. Not a lot of potential. But it has the potential to be a fun game. And, you know, you have co-op. You know, you have um, different online modes. You go around and blow shit up. It's just, it, you know, it was a fun game. I, I don't expect expected it to be the you know the greatest game they come out with. But it can be. It has the potential to be being decent if they don't f it up. Um, Battletoads. I won't say uh, necessarily a new game. Maybe a remake of the old a old game. Maybe. Um, you know that could happen because I don't think you, which, what can you do with them in a full retail game the most I can think of is an art, arcade game HD remake of an older game or you know a completely new game that's the arcade game you really don't know what you can do um, you know as a expense, more expensive game you know the game even you look at back then it was just a beat em up um, Banjo you know Banjo Kazooie Banjo Kazooie um, it's, it's the same with Conquer. You, you need, you know, I think they need a game that's like that. Although it's more kid friendly than Conquer. Next, we have Rise of the Tomb Raider. Now, they showed a trailer. Um, you can look for it on YouTube. It's just a trailer, no gameplay. I'd rather see gameplay, but you can see in the trailer there are going to be different locations. Um, uh, snowy area, mountain, um, like a mountain region. Definitely different. Um, well, not necessarily different, but you'll probably see some different locations. Um, you know, this is when she, you know, this is after escaping the island and her going into full-on badass mode. She was badass in the first game. Loved the first game. Um, it was it's definitely a step in the right direction. As it shows you how to do a reboot for, and it's a it's a good way to do a strong female character. Uh, I think that's that pretty much does it um halo 5 the reason i don't have that up there i played the beta so i kind of know what to expect from that maybe we see some story um you know some things about the story and you know how the uh, how the other character fits in how chief fits in and all that maybe we'll see something about that other than that really not much else hopefully we get some surprises because you know if you've been looking at the last couple you know ign or any of these gaming websites You've been seeing a lot of leaks for different games, and it kind of spoils, um, you know, everything what E3 is supposed to be about surprises. You're gonna get the games you know something, you know, you know about, but you want to see gameplay too. You know, I mentioned some of them, but it's the games that show, you know, you see get they show gameplay way too early, and it's like, well, that you know that ruined the surprise for that, or there's a it's a new IP that they leak that would have been a cool surprise, but it got leaked. But, you know, I'm going to do the consoles first. So next is going to be Sony, then Nintendo, then I'm going um, to go through EA, Ubisoft, um, and Bethesda. But let me know what you think down in the comment section. Um, what do you think about uh, what Xbox has to show? Was there a game I you know I didn't mention because I didn't mention Forza 6, but if you looked at my videos in the past, not really a fan of sim- racing sims. But um, let me know what you think down in the comment section. Um, if, if it was a game I didn't mention, let me know. Um, and what else do you, you know, what do you expect from Microsoft's E3? Um, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thanks for watching.